If you ask people what they think of the word Battersea, uh, they'll probably say Battersea Dogs Home, Battersea Power Station and Battersea Art Centre. BAC has really helped to put Battersea on the map as far as we are concerned in Wandsworth. We really as a council do want BAC to succeed because it is a tremendous asset as far as our local businesses are concerned. It brings a lot of people into the area. For the last 30 or so years the council has given BAC the use of the building free of charge, no rent paid. Uh, the council has also maintained the building and we were getting to the stage where a lot of things were coming to the end of their life. For instance, the wiring had to be done at a cost of about half a million pounds and it was really felt from the council's point of view that this was no longer sustainable. There was a fear, I think, among a lot of people that with the removal of council funding or potential removal of council funding, the BAC would fold. A transfer of an asset from the local authority to, to a trust or a charitable organisation means it opens up enormous fundraising opportunities for BAC. There are lots of sources of uh, revenue out there which potential funders won't look at uh, if they think that there's local authority funding but are very happy to fund projects uh, if they think that the organisation is standalone. So there have been enormous benefits I think for both the people of Wandsworth and, and BAC. BAC have got some really good fundraising people, they've started digging out a lot of potential donors, um, money is now coming in from funding various projects that I suspect would never have come in before. So there are tremendous advantages I think as far as the organisation is concerned and if the community actually do want to keep uh, a facility open uh, then this has really got to be the way that they've got to progress with it. I think from the point of view of both the council and BAC the major advantage has been that from the council taxpayers point of view a financial liability has been removed. From BAC's point of view, lots of new projects and things are now taking place in this building. There's a very exciting uh, new project last year called the Mask of the Red Death, which utilised the entire building, uh, and this has opened up the possibility of more performing spaces. So from a, an organisation that was sort of ticking along, I suppose, uh, we've now got a very vibrant organisation here. There's a lot of goodwill, I think, on the part of both the Council and BAC, and uh, we all really want to make this project succeed.